the University of Akron Zips kicked off their home opener against Morgan State. The weather was not ideal, but this would have no effect on the Zips play on the evening. Kato Nelson, the sophomore quarterback, takes the field for the first time as a de facto starter since arriving on campus and immediately shows off his versatility as he takes it outside the pocket for a solid 15-yard run. He then evades the oncoming tacklers to find receiver Andre Williams for a beautiful one-handed catch and the touchdown. However, this was brought back on a pass interference call by the Zips leading to a Nick Gasser field goal to give Akron its first lead. The Bears then began their drive down the field, but it was short-lived as Alvin Davis intercepted the ball for his first interception of the season. The Zips wouldn't waste their opportunity on this possession, as running back Van Edwards took the ball 21 yards to the end zone for the Zips' first touchdown of the season. Hungry for more, the defense almost had another interception as the ball was tipped by Kyron Brown but fell to the turf. The Bears' drive stalled and the Zips got the ball back and continued their hot play as Cato Nelson throws the ball down the field to Quadarius Smith for the 35-yard touchdown, the first of three touchdown passes Cato would throw on the evening. The defense continued to stand tall, not giving any ground on the Bears' quarterback draw. The Bears would try the same play again, but resulting in a fumble and their second turnover of the first half. With the throwing game working, the Zips went to Van Edwards to gain yards on the ground. But with the missed field goal by Gasser, the Zips had their first scoreless possession of the first quarter. The Bears seemed to find a bit of rhythm gaining a few yards of offense before ultimately throwing another interception, this time to linebacker Jamal Davis. Again, looking to get the running game consistent, the Zips ran the ball in three straight plays. But a miscommunication on the option led to a fumble and a scoop for the Bears. This seemed to be the point the Bears would finally get some significant ground, as their run game began to gain traction. But on third down, the Bears elected to throw the ball away. Ignited by the earlier turnover, Edwards dragged defenders for almost a first down. The offense mixed things up as Cato finds Williams on the motion route for a solid gain. Deltron Smith checks in and gets a carry and busted open to the outside for a 16-yard gain, setting up Nick Gasser for another field goal to give the Zips a 20-0 lead. The half was not done, and the Zips once again moved down the field. First a 30-yard pass from Cato to true freshman Jonah Morris, and then finding the end zone with a connection from Cato to Andre Williams, redeeming the play from earlier in the game. It was a new half, but the Bears still struggled, as defensive lineman Kobe Warrior was called for roughing the passer and was ultimately ejected from the game. This penalty set up the Zips to take advantage, with Cato finding Morris again for a touchdown. However, Jonah would be injured on this play. Once again, not to be outmatched by the offense, the defense continued to bring constant pressure starting with a sack and then followed with a three and out. Akron's two main options continued to pour it on, with Cato throwing to Van Edwards for a first down, followed by Edwards taking the handoff for 21 yards for his second rushing touchdown and 109 yards on the day pushing the Zips' lead to a staggering 41-0. Kato's day would end on an interception that bounced off the receiver's hands, leading to the coaches bringing in the backups as the game was already out of hand. An interception on the drive would give the Bears the opening they needed to drive onto the Zips' side of the field for the first time all game. In the winding moments, a pass interference call on the Zips put the Bears on the one-yard line. After a quarterback sneak, the Bears finally found the end zone and ended the shutout. The Bears players would celebrate the touchdown, but the Zips were left dancing to victory. Yeah, I'm always, I mean, when you win 40, 41, is it 141 to 7, you're always, you can't be disappointed. And, and the game kind of played out like you, you thought it would. Our defense, we got nine seniors. They're going to play but with a lot of experience, and they dominated. The, the defense kept, the whole game was played on one side of the field because of the way the defense had played. And then the offense, I think we're, we're very talented, probably as talented as we've ever been running back a wide out quarterback, but we're inexperienced. We made mistakes, and so we didn't take advantage of opportunities early uh, that we could have. I know we missed a field goal, fumbled a football uh, in the first uh, couple of series that we were there, and yet we settled down and did what we had to do. We made big plays, and uh, uh, we had we, we see what we can be. Um, that's how I expect out of the defense for us to have like nine seniors starting and just fly around the ball. That's just how our defense is. And, um, and the outcome of this game was a great show of how we play and how we all together as and the chemistry we have amongst each other. It was huge for me. I know, the, um, first of all, the defense came out and set the tone for us, and that was huge for us. And um, I know they push me every day in practice, so it makes it easy for me in the game, even though it being my first start and my first college touchdown. It was, it was a great experience for me.